They're getting ready for a Western Conference showdown between their Timbers and the San Jose Earthquake. First for the home side, Portland Timbers. No changes from their match against New England on Friday. Last Friday, of course, that was a big earthquake tonight. They're a bit dinged up, but they still have Chris Wondolowski. They're all-star forward up top with Kari Stevenson. And they are ready to get things going against the Earthquakes. These two teams have met once before this year in league play. Kenny Cooper, the goal scorer for the Timbers in that one. San Jose battled back to a draw. The final pass not put on target. Here's a shot from distance. Perkins handled for these. Well, the Timbers haven't sorted that well, I have to say. Coach Spencer's out there just urging a little bit more from his one of the leading goal scorers in Major League Soccer at 16 a year ago as Nagby gets loose in the box for Portland. Nagby center, Cooper, shot, SCORE! Well there's the striking partnership we were talking about. Nagby and Cooper and they hug each other and rightly so. Donington Nagby does ever so well here because he doesn't give up on the ball. And when he gets there, he's got the composure, he's got the clearness in mind to pick out his strike partner. And well, how big is confidence for goal scorers? Kenny Cooper won on Friday night against New England, and now the opener against San Jose. Kenny Cooper, his sixth goal of the season. Second in as many matches. And the other night, Robbie, it was tripping. The Timbers look to me to be getting stronger the season goes. Here's Salzizo. He centers. Nagby a shot. And a save by Bush. Nagby put that on frame and credit John Bush with a massive save. Well, brilliant play again by the Timbers. The first ball out to Zizo. It's from Alassane's brilliant. Zizo does the right thing. First time ball across. And I've got to tell you, that's a wonderful save by John Bush. Because he's coming from... The wrong side of his goal, he gets there and he hangs on to the save. John Spencer and his team out on the road for four of the final five. Here's a shot by Dawkins and Perkins has to lay out. And again, smart save by Perkins. Talked about the need for a good goalkeeper. He was more troubled by this. It came down the side of the defender. Don't really like the way that Dawkins is getting in so easily. It actually goes through Bruner's legs and that's what makes it more of a difficult save for Perkins in the danger area. Bruna, Footy, Chabola, and Palmer. Moro with a floater. Dangerous header and it's up off the top of the netting. That one nearly snuck underneath. Well, that's a big warning. That's a call that came through and won a really big header. I'd like to say Troy Perkins had it covered. See, it's just a high ball drifted in. That's a call that jumps early. Gets good contact. Perkins going back. Well, Sure, they would have just gone under that ball. The keeper's going, he's at full stretch. There's a real nag for Cooper. He'll chip it. Chance there, and it's poked over by Bush. I didn't think that had a shot, Robbie, but I think Bush was sort of off balance just enough. Well, there's a the confidence now in Kenny Cooper. Prepared to try these kind of things from 25 yards out from goal, just a little clip above the goal, keeping your seat. Bush is troubled, has to go back. He's content to tip it over the ball. Timbers look to break. Al Hassan. Beautiful cut. Takes the shot, punched away. Chance in front. Down goes Nagby. And no call. I think that's a penalty. I have to say, my first impression is penalty. I think Nagby's got away from Atakora. Al Hassan dips inside. The shot's too hot for Bush to handle. Now look at Nagby. I think Asakura's got a hold of his shirt. He's Tough ball there. Here's a shot to save by Bush. What a great ball from Chabala outside of his left foot. And you called it, Robbie Bruner, at the back post. In the end, he didn't realize he had so much time. It was a brilliant ball with the outside of his left foot from Chabala. It's a free header from Eric Bruner, and he doesn't really head it well. He heads it more into the ground. Showing a little bit of life here in the last couple of minutes. The earthquake's on the counterattack. Morales plays it in. Ends up with Perkins. He'll throw it out quickly for Zizo. He'll try to start a counter of his own. 
Well, the game's just opened up now. Stop talks about the game opening up. Not, not necessarily a good thing for the Timbers. Parker. Stevenson. Shot. Score! Harry Stevenson with a turn and fire from distance and he placed that the only spot he could they were all even at one apiece well it almost went in in slow motion didn't we talked about possession being the key to the game Stevenson just hits it low doesn't hit it that true but it finds its way past Perkins we've been talking about the danger we've been talking about that this game isn't over and now there's another challenge down for the Timbers brand new match for Portland Crosses in. Back post chance is up and just wide. Dangerous stuff there from San Jose. Not man after Cora again. He's won a, a ball into the box. He saw it first off and he had it one over the top. This time he does ever so well to going back. He gets good power on the ball. And my first instinct was that's headed for the top corner. He'll lay it out wide for Mora. Crosses in. Mixer header shot. Save Perkins. Perkins just kept this a 1-1 match. Guess who? Wondolowski talked about him drifting in positions between defenders. Big save for Troy Perkins. Ball delivered for Morrow. Watch Wondolowski just tiptoe his way through that defence. And that's a big save from Troy Perkins. Talked about the experience of the goalkeeper, the know-how. Gets there, gets it away. It's a big, strong hand. Like Chabala with the Swinger in front of the Timbers army falls to Al Hassan plays it through rebound and nearly tipped by Bruner Bush falls on top of it well the real chance was Bruner's Al Hassan just looked to feed the ball back in see it's just a side foot fed in and well if Bruner can just nick there before the goalkeeper might just have had the chance to put it out will be the last chance for Portland and it will be 90 minutes in the books here from Jelblin Field. It was the Timbers early, and then it was San Jose the rest of the way. As Portland and San Jose played to a 1-1 draw.